All right, we're back. And I'm pretty sure I'm alone in this stretch of the woods. But there's something I noticed out at Germantown and here at the Miami Trails. And you know what? It's at every single trail I go on. You'll see people carving their initials or their loved ones' names or random things into trees beside the trails, right? And whether that does harm to the trees or not, I don't know. But I think what it represents is a mentality that's really deep in this culture and that goes back to the animal nature, the nature of consumption that I've talked about before. When we look out into the world and we see things, we think, mine. How can I make that mine? How can I stamp my identity on it? Something to that effect, always. Deep in our unconscious minds, huh? And a lot of people look out into our culture and see all the problems of it and might blame an economic system, might blame politicians or agendas or whatever. But really there's a deeper root issue that we have as human beings when we want to commodify everything. We want to own everything. And that's way, way more than just material possessions. What good, what good does it do other than just knowing you have a stamp somewhere in the woods to carve into a tree? All it really is is marking your territory, marking that you have been there. And some people might say I'm reading way too much into that, but I don't think so. There's a deep part of the human mind which wants to own, to control, to spread their seeds at the expense of everything else and anyone else in the world, when taken to extremes, that is. So a good thing to do, and a good thing we're going to need to do to go forward, is to acknowledge that, that is in all of us. That's the first step. And then once we've acknowledged it, we can overcome it. Or redirect it into a way that's more useful for both the individual and the collective. Huh? So if you think, I want to make my mark on the world, but I'm not going to write into a tree. I'm going to create something that truly lasts and that's truly beneficial for all of us. Huh? And a lot of people do that, but one thing we should have noticed when the whole Notre Dame, or Notre Dame, excuse me, I'm from Indiana, <laughs> cathedral burned, lots of wealthy people wanting to stamp their name onto a restoration project, but when the Amazon was burning, nothing. That's the mentality I'm talking about. We have to learn to differentiate. We have to learn to get to those root causes, get to those issues, those mindsets that are deeply ingrained in us as humans so that we can redirect and overcome them. That's going to be the way forward. Love and gratitude. Thanks for listening. Done.